What's up goons, Jordan or JKR here, bringing you guys a new series that I'm going to be doing. And I'm not going to title it, it's sort of like the story time series, uh, where I'm not going to say episode 1, episode 2, because you never really know when I am going to come out with one of these. And this is called the What If series. And it's basically me just saying, talking about stuff, uh, usually, well, always interesting topics about what if something happened. And this one I've seen on other people's channels, and I really want to do it because it, it's a really interesting topic because I don't really think it, it's possible it could happen. Well, to tell you the truth, now in today's day, like anything's basically possible with like scientists and all that, but I don't know if it's possible for like a zombie outbreak to happen and like the government not do anything or anything like that. But that's the beauty of what if series it it just basically gives you the freedom just to think what if that actually happened so today we're going to be talking about the zombie apocalypse and for you guys that just the, the small percent of you percent of you guys who actually don't know what that is it's basically zombies have taken over there's no military basically because the military has been eaten up by zombies and now they're zombies too except they have like riot shields and stuff but um, the main main place I like why this topic interests me is because I like the show Walking Dead and if you haven't seen that show you need to look it up on Netflix like if you don't have Netflix um, go to like a DVD place I'm sure you can get The Walking Dead at least like season 1 probably even season 2 like you need to just watch that series guarantee you'll be hooked but uh, that show really focuses around surviving and that's the main thing I would do if it if The Walking Dead became my life basically when I would like let's say it just started the outbreak just started and let's say I'm just chilling at home playing Minecraft you know making a video for you guys if this actually happened and let's just say just just let's just say that I didn't have my parents or any of my family just to make this sound just to make this a little interesting what would I have done first and let's say I can also drive too well the first thing I'll do is a lot of people would say why don't you go get food supplies guns well honestly don't you think that's what every, everybody else is doing and I right now I'm a 14 year old boy I'm not the strongest man, like I couldn't take on probably your dad if he was a muscle guy, like I couldn't out muscle a grown man basically, that's what I'm trying to get across. If I went to like Walmart, because Walmart's the ideal place for everything, because they have um, they have food, like non-perishable, they have guns, knives, and like they have hunting stuff which that's basically guns and knives and they also have like tents so you're probably gonna be on the move so the tents could come in handy they have like batteries all, all the good stuff at Walmart Walmart is basically the universal place you would want to go so if I went to Walmart you could see me getting either killed for whatever I had or like somebody just saying leave basically because they're probably greedy. Everybody's going to be greedy during the apocalypse. Nobody's going to be saying, come and share, because nobody's going to be doing that. So I would definitely take the route of going to a lower, like a more undergrade, like local store. Like I know around me we have this pawn shop, which I'm pretty sure you can get guns there. So the first place I would go to is actually the gun shop and the next place I'll, I'll probably rob a and I'm a I wouldn't do any of this and like if this wasn't the apocalypse basically but I'll probably rob a gas station and get some food like just some stuff that I could eat short term like snacks and all that and just put that in my car and along the way like my policy with strangers and all that I don't know if I would accept strangers, they would probably have to be either somebody I already know or somebody that 
I, I just had a certain sense about because during the zombie apocalypse, you never know who who's crossing fingers and who's just gonna kill you behind your back, which is pretty sad. But hey, everybody wants to live. That that's probably what it would be like. To tell you the truth. So I don't know if I would pick up people, but right now I would have guns and I would have a little bit of food. The next thing I have to worry about is, is of course, zombies. Like, let's just say I haven't been infected or nobody's like trying to contaminate me or anything like that. To stay low, I would probably, I don't know if I would go to my house because my house actually has a fence around it, and it's actually a fence to where like. If you try to jump over it, like just run straight at it, it would probably cut you, tell you the truth. So my house would actually be a great idea to stay at. It's pretty big, so and I think you can actually get on top of the roof. So that would actually be a really great idea. Because you could sort of just sit on top of the roof and this is if I already have my gun, like sit there and just basically watch to see if anybody breaches the Fence, like watch for survivors and all that. And another interesting thing, like let's just say I also found a group. Would you try to repopulate the earth? Because I know a lot of people would be dying. Because the more zombies, like the more people are gonna die. So would people just try to repopulate the earth? Like that's a that's a real question because. I don't think too many people are going to be getting jiggy when, like, you know, zombies are walking around everywhere. That's just something to think about. But back to, like, where I was. But my house has a gate around it, and, like I said, it's really, really sturdy, so you can't really hop over it. I don't even think a zombie, if he was coming at it, he would probably give up, and he probably wouldn't even know I was there. So, next up, what if people actually found me? Like, would I accept them? Anything like that? Um, I, I've already been over this, but I probably would say no. And if they, like, if they, like, if they decided that they really wanted to, like, take over my land, I would have to do what I had to do and shoot them. Like, what would you guys do? Would, if you, somebody was trying to literally, literally endanger you or your family, during this time, would you would you have the guts to pull the trigger? Me personally, I think I would, cause I'm not trying to be zombie zombie food. I'm not trying to be dead during the apocalypse. Like, well, I guess everybody will be dead at some time, but I'm not trying to be the first to go. I'm trying to like live it out as long as I can until like somebody comes up with a cure. And that's probably what I would do. I would probably sit in my house make runs as less like the least amount possible I would make runs just when I was like out of food and then even then I would just probably take as much as I can and get back to my house and then probably just live it out there it would be a boring life but hey at least, at least you're living and you're not a zombie but tell me what you guys think what would you do during the zombie apocalypse I personally think I would just try to wait it out because I'm not trying to like explore the world during this thing but I also want to know what you guys want to do what would you guys do and don't worry if if you guys are goons you just say I'm a goon and I'll, I'll take you in if you're a goon I'll take you in remember that but I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and comment what you think just tell me what you think what would you do what would you do differently and I'm out guys peace